The Young and the Restless is increasing the tension in a rivalry to Victor and Jax, and it could get even worse. Drama about the young and agitated. Perhaps it's time for Genoa City to install soundproofing in its meeting rooms. From the moment Nate, from The Young and the Restless, started working with Devin, also from the show, at Chancellor Winters, it was clear that things weren't going to end well. Neither man had forgotten the other's transgressions, he had forgiven him for cheating on his then-girlfriend Elena, and he had forgiven the blow that had terminated his medical career. So while Nate has worked to make an impression at the firm, Devin has continually placed roadblocks in his path. Neil's kid might say it's normal procedure. He is concerned about what is best for C.W. However, Nate perceives there to be more. This is why they're making an effort to set the record straight during the week of September 12. It ends badly. According to Soap Opera Digest, it immediately becomes evident that Nate and Devon aren't any closer to resolving their troubles, and it could get even worse. Battle to the death. If Nate and Devon's tensions continue to build, as they surely will, Geno City may be devastated by a feud not seen since Jack and Victor first crossed swords. The repercussions could go far beyond business, just as they did between those bitter rivals. Amani has made it obvious that she would be more than happy to lend Nate an ear if he ever needed to vent his frustrations about Elena's repeated suggestions that he slow his role when it comes to his moving and shaking, or any other part of her anatomy, for that matter. If an affair of this sort sliced apart Nate and Elena's marriage, it might do the same to Devon and Amanda. An ex-girlfriend of the cousin. Despite their painful history together, Devon would have to feel compassion for Elena if she were to be deceived for speaking the truth and kinda sided with her ex. In his desire to reassure her, he risks reawakening emotions that neither of them truly wanted to let go of in the first place. A potential outcome of this is, even though Devon and Amanda are as close as they are, they risk having their future pushed further back than just into doubt. When that happens, she may rethink her interest in Nate. Years ago, it achieved zero progress, but where does that leave us now? To follow him would put her in conflict with Amani. What an epic showdown that would be.